A firm's capital structure refers to the amount of debt and or equity that it uses to fund its operations and buy its assets. It's typically expressed as either a debt to equity or debt to total capital ratio. The optimal capital structure of a firm is that which lowers its weighted average cost of capital to the lowest possible point. So when a company decides to raise money, it can choose between debt or equity. You can see below an example of a company that has used on the left, mostly equity to fund the purchase of its assets, and a company on the right that has used mostly debt to finance the purchase of its assets. So these companies will have a low or high capital structure depending on the mix of debt and equity they chose. Let's take a closer look at cost of capital. A firm's weighted average cost of capital is equal to the proportion of equity that it has relative to total capital times the cost of that equity plus the proportion of debt to capital that it has times the after-tax cost of that debt. For a full tutorial on weighted average cost of capital, please see CFI's articles and videos on WAC. The dynamics of debt and equity are as follows. Debt is lower risk and therefore has lower return. It does not come with any ownership rights. It often has a fixed repayment schedule and has restrictions on operational flexibility. Equity, on the other hand, is higher risk and therefore higher return. It comes with ownership rights, often with voting privileges. It does not have mandatory fixed repayments or interest payments, and it provides the maximum operational flexibility for a company. Let's look at how a company can recapitalize to change its capital structure. One is to issue debt and repurchase equity. If a company uses the proceeds from issuing debt to buy back shares, it will increase the proportion of debt and decrease the proportion of equity that it has. Alternatively, a company could issue debt and then pay a large dividend to its equity investors. This would have the exact same effect as buying back shares. Conversely, a company could issue equity and use the proceeds to repay debt. Since the cost of equity is higher than the cost of debt, Companies will only do this if they have to, meaning if the company is going to have trouble servicing its debt. Let's look at how capital structure fits in with mergers and acquisitions. When a company buys another business, it has a choice of how to fund that acquisition. It could fund it with cash or shares, or it could borrow money in the form of debt and use that to finance the acquisition. So this is another point where companies have a choice about how they optimize their capital structure. Now let's look at leveraged buyouts. Leveraged buyouts are a situation where a company completes an acquisition and uses a very high amount of debt to fund it. So it puts in as small amount of equity as possible and over time pays down the debt and increases its equity proportion. This results in the highest possible internal rate of return for equity investors. As you can see, there are many different ways to fund a company and to set a company's capital structure. Thank you for joining us for the capital structure tutorial.